We have a segment we do here, transitioning from that, called Waiting for Life. And we've been teasing this great group all morning long. And they're here because there's a very popular professor at Cedarville University, we're finding out. Hello. <laughs> you never had that title before, did you? No. Mr. No. Popularity. Well, <laughs> and it's a good thing to be. Yeah, man. yeah. Great. And they're here because I know, uh, Chuck Elliott, you are in need of a kidney. Tell me just a little mm. bit about your health. I've, I've had uh, kidney disease for about 20 years, and uh, it, it's been well managed. Um, but in the last year, the kidneys started to, t to deteriorate pretty quickly. And so my doctors um, said that we need to get on this. They asked me, would I be willing to uh, consider a, a kidney transplant? And, and I said yes. So we started working with Ohio State University, and they have um, listed me for a kidney. Uh, and so I'm, I'm waiting. So now you have this little thing you need called a donor. And we call them living kidney donors. And so I bet you guys have learned a lot about that. Let's start with your names and who you are and just what you're majoring in. Yeah. Um, I'm Laura King. I'm a junior communications major. All right. So this is right up your alley. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Maddie Roby, a marketing major. I'm Chloe Largent, and I'm a marketing major as well. And I'm Janessa Colburn, and I'm a strategic communication major. All right. So you got the marketing communications team, mm -hmm. a yeah. team on it. All right. And somebody <laughs> needs to tell me, what is Deep Calls for Life? Yeah, so we're doing a virtual campaign for one of our classes, and um, basically the idea is that we're going to educate people on how to be a donor and why, and hopefully get a, do a donor for Dr. Elliott specifically. So we're sharing his story because it's really hard to ask someone for a donor for yourself, so we're trying to ask other people to consider how they can be a donor. That's so true. You know, it's hard to ask somebody for like five bucks if you need, let alone a body <laughs> part. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's not as simple as people think. All right, so what do you love about him? Um, if I'm being honest, I didn't know Dr. Elliot uh, before uh, this year, but being able to do this project and get to know him personally, I've just uh, heard stories of his stu or from his students all about him hmm. and um, just. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to find him a kidney. Good for you. So let's talk about that campaign. Mm -hmm. What is it? How does it work? What are you doing? That kind of thing. Yeah, so we have two social media accounts that we're running. They're both called Deep Calls for Life. We're on Instagram and Facebook. And our goals, like Janessa mentioned, are to educate people, especially people our age who don't know very much about the organ donation process. And we want to share Dr. Elliott's story. Um, we've already been blown away by how many students and alumni have just mm -hmm. surrounded this campaign with support because Dr. Elliott has been so faithful in pouring into his students and opening up his home to even our team and his other students. So people love him and they want to support him because of the support they've received from him. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, we have a little video of your campus. I want you just to tell me, CW University, you made that choice because? Mm -hmm. Well, my siblings both graduated from there and just Cedarville has a great community and it allows us to have relationships like this with our professors and a lot of like big campuses you can't really have and I've gotten to know Dr. Elliott really well and it's a great school, a good Christian environment, and we can openly pray and worship together. And it's a beautiful thing. Wow. So we love to hear that. So uh, when you hear these students rally behind you, I know it's very humbling. <laughs> but for people not familiar with living donors, what do you need? you go through a testing process, that kind of thing? Yeah. Um, uh, Ohio State University has a whole process. Um, I had to go through a seven-step process in order to be qualified to um, get the, the, the kidney. Um, and if you call Ohio State University, um, I know other places actually do this as well. Um, they, they, they go through this whole process uh, seamlessly to be able to um, help you to know whether you can donate and then if you can, uh, what, what you need to do to actually make it happen. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting. Uh, lots of times somebody will just see a teacher and you know recognize that you have changed countless lives. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now you just need one person to match you to change yours, huh? True, true. Yeah. And, and these folks, th it is overwhelming to me, their kindness, their generosity of time, because they're all busy people, and yet uh, 
they're helping me. They're yeah, and nothing is more important even for busy people than saving a life, is it? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to give you, I'm going to put you on the spot. We do this sometimes. In just a couple of words, I want each of you to describe what this experience has done, you know, to help you, to make a difference for his life or yours. Like, okay, well, I think it just shows me the value of life and um, the need to, like, support all of life, all, like yeah, every person. That's it, the value of life. Um, importance of advocacy. Yeah, what a difference. All right, how about you, marketing major? There's a lot of strength in community and mm -hmm. coming together for one project. Yep. And how about you? Um, I think it showed me kind of the power of what she said, like community and how much God is like taking a hold of this because mm -hmm. this is happening and we didn't expect this and it's just a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. You know, he has a way of doing those he things, does. doesn't he? Yeah. Wow, wonderful. All right, so here's what we need to know. We're going to be putting your story out there, but if someone's watching, all you need is a little cheek swab to start this process and see if you could be the match, as we call it. We love that this is just an opportunity for us to share something so much greater than our own purpose here. Mm -hmm. And we are so grateful that you guys came down. They had to drive like an hour to get here. Um, just to say, maybe there's a next step in in saving a life and nothing mm -hmm. is more precious. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here today. Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you. Great